could not sell and buy a home simultaneously without first watching this video. If you are selling your home and trying to purchase a new home at the same time, how do you make sure that everything meshes and that there's as little drama as possible? Well, I'm here to answer that question. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Luane and I'm with the Glover Agency in the Metro Detroit area. And I've got a passion for making videos for my clients and YouTube friends. And if you're new here and you're new to me, be sure to hit like and subscribe and stay to the end. I'm going to tell you lots of information about real estate, Grand Blank Fenton and the Clarkston areas of Michigan and everywhere north of there. So a question that I am frequently asked by clients and potential sellers is how do we coordinate the sale of our house and buy another house at the same time? Well, this might be surprising to you, but this is a really common occurrence for realtors. I get it. It's not for the regular layperson, but we pretty much do this nearly every day. So you've come to the right place. If you find yourself looking to buy and sell a home, there are five essential things that you need to know. Number one, timing is key. The timing of your real estate transaction is crucial. So consulting with a reputable realtor can provide valuable insight into what the market conditions are currently. What's the potential value of your current home? And what is the estimated time it might take to sell? Understanding that the number of days on the market is going to have a huge impact on your timeline in the end. So we want to align all of those things with your plans. Number two is financial preparedness. It's important that you explore all the different lending options that are available to you. Understand whether you need to sell your current home first, or maybe you have enough equity and assets that you could actually make your purchase first selling your home on the back end of it. And knowing all of this is, is are significant factors to your timeline. You're also going to want to consider as if you needed to, could you make two mortgage payments at once? Those are all really important because I promise you, if we put your home on the market and you're getting multiple offers and you're buying in that same area, you are probably going to be competing with multiple offers on your purchase. So this is super important for making informed decisions. Also important are realistic expectations. Setting realistic expectations is key. Knowledge that this process is probably going to take some time. If you're buying a new built home, you could be looking at 10 months to maybe over a year, depending on the size of your home and what's happening in with that particular builder. Some take longer than others. Um, if you're buying a existing home, it could be as little as three months or anywhere in between that. And of course you want to prepare for any unforeseen circumstances. So obviously if you're in a really competitive market and you might be making bids on homes and you might not be getting them, first of all, that can definitely affect your timeline. We want to build in a little extra time right now for looking for homes in this market. And then of course, once we find your home and all through this process, communication is key. Open lines of communication with your real estate agent, your lending institutions, your agent will be following up with buyers and sellers on your behalf. It is essential to a successful transition. Understanding the nuances of the different types of offers that may come in on your house, such as an offer that's contingent upon the sale of a home or an offer that is contingent upon the closing of a home. Closing both properties at the same time, although it sounds like a great idea, it doesn't happen very often, at least not in my world it hasn't. It, it is essential to consider how you receive the funds from your previous home, and that can make a difference with your timeline. So a couple of years back, I had a client and we had sold her home that we were closing on, and we were closing on her home in about three or four days. And we had asked that the funds be wired, and we thought everything was fine with that. We sat down at the closing, signed all the paperwork. She was giving her closing packet and I was given mine. And as we were walking out, she asked me what she was supposed to do with the check. And my initial thought was, oh, they probably took out what they gave her a check for the amount, the difference between what she got in her home and what she was paying for her new home because she was going to have some money back. And it was the entire check. So we immediately went in, called the title company, and let them know what had happened and that we were supposed to have the funds wired 
And because she'd taken possession of the check and they had no way of knowing whether she had already snapped a picture of it and electronically deposited it, we had to wait a number of days for them to check that it was okay to stop payment and issue another check or wire the money out to the title company, which did cause us a few days to get to closing, which in this case wasn't a big deal, but there are times that it could be. The navigating two transactions at the same time can be a little terrifying, but a reliable realtor can act as a project manager. That's pretty much what we do. We ensure that everything progresses as planned and as smoothly as possible. From the preparation and sale of your current home to negotiating repairs and inspections and having a clear plan and a proactive approach, all are paramount. And be sure that you embrace flexibility in negotiating your timelines and considering a cushion of time between the sale and moving. And moving out can provide a buffer for unexpected delays. You need to be adaptable and open to potential solutions. I once had a client that had to give possession of their home and they had about a week before they were gonna get possession of the other home. And they were considering moving in with grandparents, doing this or that. But in the end, what they did is they just went and rented an Airbnb and took a little vacation before their move. It worked out great. And they were able to live there with their kids and have a little fun before they got down to the work of settling in their new property. Having a contingency plan is essential. So remember that while the process of selling and buying a home can be a little frightening with a combination of careful planning, financial preparedness, and effective communication, you can make a really smooth transition and navigate this journey successfully. I'm so glad that you tuned in today. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.